What's up YouTube? Today I got some online racing for you in Forza Horizon 4. Kicking it off real quick in the Porsche Panamera S1 Rally as we tear down the fence. Koenigsegg goes sideways, don't know where he's going. And we move all the way up into third place relatively quickly as we go over the jump. Just going to pass the Jeep Trailcat in my off-road Panamera. Kind of a weird choice for a rally car in my opinion. When I think of the Panamera, I think of businessmen who have kids and they need some place to put their stuff. So definitely not a rally vehicle in my brain. But here we are nonetheless just passing the Ford Ranger Raptor. A beast of a truck. I'm pretty sure I said that in pretty much all of my videos. The Ranger Raptor is a beast as we pass the Koenigsegg once again on the second lap. And just gonna hit the wrong side of that jump and do a little roll there. But luckily, as you can see on the map, we are far enough ahead to not be affected whatsoever. And as a result, we're going to take the win. And moving on to the next race, as you can see, starting in second, once again, behind the Ranger Raptor. So starting off, battling for first. I thought he was going to swerve across me there, so not quite sure what to expect out of him. He lost one time, so I'm not quite sure how he's going to feel about that. And he's just going to slide off a little bit, so going to easily scoot up into first place. And going to get lifted by some imaginary forces there as we reach 180 miles an hour. And just going to hit some rocks and do a somersault. So, so far, two for two for rolling the car. And going to get passed by the Ranger Raptor, so going to have to fight my way back up there. So just going to try and cut up the inside and avoid the traffic car. As you can see, the Porsche is a little bit more maneuverable than the Ranger Raptor on the pavement. So we're going to have a bit of an advantage there. So not quite sure where I'm going here. I wasn't quite sure which track this was. I must have not have been paying attention in the menu. So thinking it was the other one where you have to go through the festival, that is where I was going. But now realizing that I was in the wrong direction, having to turn around, still not sure where I'm going. As you see Farmer Dan move up into first place, you can see him climbing up the hill there with the rest of the pack starting to follow. I'm going to try and get up here clean, but just going to hit some rocks instead. I'm going to get almost fully stuck there, but just managing to save it. We got a backwards car on the left. And we're going to finish in second place behind Farmer Dan. So moving on to the next race, still in the Porsche Panamera. Really like this car. Very balanced. Just overall a nice and easy car to drive, in my opinion. Quite fast as well. So up into first, uh, sorry, third place. Not yet. Not first, just yet. We'll get there. So just passing the Jeep as we move up into second place. And there goes Farmer Dan, gonna try and stay on the left to avoid some of the water. Obviously when you're in these cars, it slows you down a lot compared to like the Jeeps. And I'm going to stay nice and narrow on this corner, understeering a little bit, but just managing to save it as we catch up to the rest of the guys. And another narrow corner as you see everyone fly off. A bunch of chaos ensuing as you expect on those sharp corners. So me and Farmer Dan holding first and second place. This is what I want to see right here. Farmer Dan seems to be doing quite well in his Lamborghini Urus as we get smashed by the Jeep. So again, just going to try and stay on the right side to avoid some of the water. That's kind of a uh, crappy spot regardless. 
we're gonna see what this thing can do on these straightaways. These cars definitely suffer on uh, these fields with all the bumps and stuff. The off-road suspension just doesn't have enough travel uh, when it comes to just regular cars. So a race to the line, and he's gonna mess up the last corner. We're going to scoot up into first and rub it in his face a little bit. So moving on to the next race, this is what happens when you don't pick a car in time and you just kind of panic and pick whatever's there. We got a rear wheel drive BMW. I'm not quite sure what BMW this is. I probably couldn't even name this thing to save my life. You know what, I'm gonna take a guess, an M3, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. So rear wheel drive, as you know, most people in this game take the all wheel drive. And to be honest, I don't blame them because uh, there's not many upsides, or pretty much any upsides, to rear-wheel drive in this. Uh, you, might have, uh, you might have more power in, uh, in the top end, which is, in my experience, that's typically how it is. Everything else sucks, but in a straight line, you'll typically do better. But with that being said, this car isn't even that fast. Uh, even being rear-wheel drive. So we got a battle on our hands here. We got uh, Buddy in the Corvette next to me. We got a CRX. And I'm gonna see if I can pass them on this straightaway. They're keeping up pretty well, as we see here. So just managing to get by them, just barely keeping it clean. As we pull up to this long corner, just gonna downshift into the wrong gear and then I'm gonna have to shift back up into fourth. So we're gonna see if this thing is going to surprise me with its power on the highway here as we pass 150 miles per hour. So this is what I mean when I say rear wheel drive has a bit of an advantage. You can see me slowly reeling in the guy in front of me. And kicking out the back end and seeing what car he's in I know he's in a Nova that is most likely the Forza edition so I know he's gonna go wide on that corner because that car has no handling so I'm going to purposefully keep it on the inside line so that I can get up the inside but as you can see hit he is a lot faster than me so reaching just over 80% completion got a challenge on my hand here but he's gonna go wide into the wall so it gives me one extra shot at getting second place. So we're going to try and hold it together through this last corner. Very steady, trying to prevent the back end from kicking out and slowing me down. So managing to do that nicely, although very weary at this point because I know he has the power, although he's not going to make it happen. So going to finish in second place, not bad for a rear wheel drive car. So moving on to the next race, as you can probably recognize this track in my head, I'm feeling like this is going to be a disaster. Starting at the back of the pack with a rear wheel drive car on this specific track. So not feeling too confident about the beginning of this race as we catch up to the pack here. And he's gonna push Farmer Dan into the wall. So moving up into 7th place, and we got a drifter on our team, it looks like. I guess uh, guy's just hitting the handbrake at every single corner. Definitely not a, uh, a fast way to make it around these corners. So we're on the long corner here, just getting held back by this Corvette and not being able to take advantage of my opportunities because of the rear wheel drive. Just going to be holding me back. So finally gonna get around him there, moving up into fifth place. I'm gonna go through the Alpha up behind the Nova and looks like a Ford GT. And the Nova is just going to come out of ghost mode, just going to go right into the side of him there. And I'm thinking he probably thinks that I'm a rammer, the way he gave me that position right before the corner. And he's going to get around me regardless, going to push me a little bit wide. And the way the back end kicks out doesn't really help, but just going to get by him once again here, ghosting right through him. Going to try and stay ahead of him. 
as we get joined by our friend in the Corvette once again. So we're going to lose out. And friend in the Corvette is just going to push me into the wall. And there he gets his karma. So all is well. But not able to do any better than that. Going to lose out to the Nova. So on to the next race. Still in the BMW. So starting off in second behind the Nova. Going to get passed by the Ford GT. I can't tell if that's a GT or a GT40. And the CRX. So still ghosted out here. Bunch of guys going to go into the wall. There goes our Corvette friend. As you can probably imagine, that was well expected. So battle here for the podium with the GT40. That is definitely a GT40. And our buddy up in first place in the Nova. As soon as you see that Forza Edition Chevy Nova, you know it's going to be a sweat fest. Just want to get passed once again by the GT40. And he's going to break a little bit early, so I'm just going to outbreak him on this corner. I'm going to try and gain some ground on that Nova. So going to gas it a little bit too hard on the exit of that corner and put myself in the wall. So managing to gain a little bit of ground on the final lap here. Going to try and keep it clean through this corner, getting kind of close to him, but just going to mess that up again the back end just loves to kick out on that corner and then you just go sliding right into the wall so losing my ground there so hoping he's going to crack on the last corner but he doesn't and that's going to be the end of it so coming in second place so moving on to the next race in the Willys Jeep S1 class V8 swap. So starting off in fourth place as we move on to the grass. Gonna get passed by a sweaty Toyota Baja truck. So a bunch of chaos going on as we speak as everyone fights for the lead. So the thing about this vehicle is that it starts to turn and starts to slide normally and then as you may have seen there, it wants to straighten out every time you touch the gas. So basically halfway through a corner, you have to pull the e-brake and initiate another slide, uh, otherwise you're going to go straight into the wall. So somewhat of an uneventful ending to the race there. As you see me struggle around that final corner. This thing definitely hard to control. So getting third place, not too bad, but not that great either. So moving on to the next race, starting in second place behind the Evo. So gonna get by him here, and he's just gonna choose to ram me into the wall instead. Not quite sure why he would even bother with that at the very beginning of the race. But he's off in the field, probably never see him again. So all the way down into ninth place as we speak. So everyone crossing the road at various angles, not quite sure where to go. So just gonna take this jump here. Almost gonna roll the vehicle, just barely gonna land that. So up in first place. And not quite sure where I'm going. Just gonna forget that there's a huge lake in the middle here that you can't cross. So I'm gonna have to turn around and try and make my way back to the road. So cruising down the trail here, still in first place somehow. Gonna fly right through the trees, gonna go against my own advice about going full throttle through a bunch of trees, but taking the gamble and it pays off somehow as we move down into second. 
So we're gonna see if we can put some power down on the straights as we almost clip that car. And then another car. This thing seems to be magnetized to the traffic cars. So as you can see, this thing accelerates like mad on the straights as we almost clip another Range Rover. So just pushing my luck to the absolute limit around here as we try and catch up to first place. As you can see, the suspension on this thing is terrible when you're going through these fields because the thing just bounces around basically like a cardboard box. So teammate right on my back bumper, almost gonna hit another car as we cross the line in second place. So slightly better than the last race, but still not a win. So moving on to the next race, we got a rear wheel drive Ferrari. Rear wheel drive seems to be a bit of a theme in today's video. So I just could not bring myself to make this old classic Ferrari uh, all wheel drive. Some cars, I just can't do it. And this is definitely one of them. So we're gonna see how we stack up here against the competition. So moving up into fifth place, as you can see, we got some good competition brewing up here as we reach the first difficult section here. I'm going to move up one position. Now we got some Alfa Romeo TZ2s and another Ferrari, so we got some other old cars here as well. The Alfa Romeo TZ2, definitely a sweaty tryhard car. And we got two of them up here. Trying to make a move on the inside of the Ferrari, just not gonna make it happen. I'm gonna lose the back end a little bit as we move on to this next difficult corner here because of the dirt. So we're gonna give it some gas and just gonna lose the back end a little bit. So anytime I have an opportunity here seems to be wasted by the loss of traction on the exit of the corners. So guy gonna go off and disappear and then reappear through the bushes as we got a laggy car on the left. So we're gonna see if I can make a move on this Ferrari on the straightaway here. The rear wheel drive cars tend to do better in a straight line. They typically have a better top end, but actually that Ferrari doing quite well, surprisingly. So through the sharp S curve, no one really making a mistake there. Ferrari losing a bit of speed. I'm gonna see if I can make it by him. And just able to get by him cleanly. And he's just gonna push me a little bit out of the way and take back his position. So dropping back down into fourth. So we're gonna see if I can make a move here in this final section of the race. 85% completion. I definitely see some opportunities here and there from the Ferrari in front of me. I'm gonna try to make a move up the inside, just gonna clip the fence and lose my momentum there from the wheel spin. Gonna dodge the traffic car. And just not gonna have enough power to pass the Ferrari on the final straight. So as a result, going to come in fourth. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post new content. It helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.